what's up guys how are you guys doing today it's your boy d2 rides back at it again with another vlog um so yeah my last video that i put out if it seemed kind of rushed it it's probably because it was i mean it really was rushed um, I was trying to get something out. I wanted it to make, I wanted it to sound nice, but that didn't happen. Um, I just think that my exhaust might be too loud for this audio setup. I mean, it's just peaking this mic out. It's crazy. Uh, I've tried everything that I could think of to make it not be that way, but I don't, I don't have a solution. But. It's, it's gonna get better. I just got really frustrated, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna edit it, I'm gonna get it out there, cause I need to get something out. But in today's video, we're gonna talk about this bike. And, well, is it is it a good bike? I know I've done a lot of videos like this, but this is gonna be kind of different. Now, I've owned this bike for about two years. And I've driven it fairly hard, um, both on the track and on back roads and on straightaways, and I've done a significant amount of mods. People might want to know about, you know, how it handles it and what I've done, like maintenance-wise for the bike and things like that. And just overall, like, if I want this bike after two, three, four years, Am I still gonna love it? Uh, I can tell you right now, hands down, every single last complaint that I, or every single last complaint that I have for this bike doesn't matter because of all the joy that I just get from driving it. I mean, there's not one single time you can get on this bike, go out for a ride and just not smile. I mean, every time you hit, like listen to this, when I take my hand off the throttle, that alone, and those pops don't always sound the same. They all sound really different, so, like I said, sometimes they catch you off guard. And just the acceleration. Just the sheer, just the power you get from it. And this motor, I mean, this motor is so reliable. It's one of the most reliable motors out there. There are people that have taken these bikes and they've ran them with no oil in them. Although not advised, they've done it. And they ride them for like long miles and stuff like that with no oil and the motors are fine. They do just good and they handle it. But there are some very big complaints. Um, one of them right now is you see this service light that's on. Um, that service light that's blinking. There's nothing wrong with this bike. I've already gone over it with my tuner that I have in Texas. We were on the phone for hours and on Skype for hours. Going over the bike making sure that there's not actually a real problem that we're not seeing. The only code that is popping up is that it's a break-in service code. That's all it is. That's right, just a break-in service code. So there's nothing wrong with that. I'm gonna take it down to my local BMW dealership, which is two hours away. And I'm gonna just tell them or let them know what happened and see if they'll take it off for me. What happened is, is whenever we were installing headers and some other stuff, um, we just never took that code off. It reset the bike because we took the battery off for so long. Thought I got it fixed, but then over the winter time, I would decide to store the bike and I changed out the battery, but I wanted to wait forever before I got a battery. So I think it reset back to default. So we'll get it taken care of. But that's another thing that's really awesome about these bikes is just 
Like this bike is made for a person that wants to get out and ride. If you don't enjoy riding fast and you get this bike, that's gonna change. You're just gonna wanna ride fast all the time. This bike, it feels 100% like a 600, but all of the power of a leader bike, which means all the weight, you can just throw it wherever you want to. Throw it wherever, it just handles it just fine. No problems. And like I said, the pops, like, for any reason to get the bike, get it for the pops. All right, while we're stuck here at this red light, let's just talk about a lot of other things. Some things that really suck that I'm gonna hammer fire off really quickly is that like the service. There's a limiter on this bike. 125 miles an hour whenever you buy it brand new until you get 600 miles on it. That's it. That's all you get until you take it into a dealer and you pay that $600 for that service so that way you can get your bike unlocked pretty much. So you have to pay for a service to have your bike fully unleashed. Like I understand the braking miles. I do. But let's we can probably roll off a bunch of other manufacturers that tell you, hey, this is how you should break in your bike, but don't put that cap limiter on it. So that way you can have your bike and choose to break it in how you want to. The other thing is, is that just everything's expensive with it. That's something that you just have to live with. But some really, 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 just totally worth it things about getting this bike is, it doesn't matter what kind of biker it is. As long as, like if they know bikes, they're a true biker and they really know bikes and they're really into it. They know what this bike is. Fairings, no fairings, it doesn't matter. The sound is so unique with this bike. The front face is just so unique with the eyes. And that's one of the questions that I always got whenever I decided that I was gonna take the fairings off mine. One of my biggest questions that people would always ask me is, how are people gonna know what bike it is? How are they gonna know? And I said, if they're true. Something else that's really nice is that with these bikes, you can make these bikes 100% your own, just like every single last person will tell you with every bike. It's, it's very, very different with this bike because at the shop where I used to work, me and a bunch of other coworkers, we all had S1000s, four different S1000s two in the old model year and the rest of them were and the other two were in the new model year and even then all our bikes sounded 100 percent different and unique and yes you're gonna say that's the exhaust it is but even just a lot of just like i don't really know how to explain it it's something that you have to hear in person because you'd swear that they're two different bikes because they don't idle the same start idle the same or anything it's, it's just something you have to hear i'm telling you but some things that i do have a lot of i have a lot of things that i do need to talk about is you know they with this bike you know they offer all the different traction control modes where you can change it up to be what you need it to be well, one of the other things that they have is different power modes too. Like you have your rain mode, you have your sport mode, and then you have your race mode. And if you have the code and plug it, then you have the slick mode, and you also have the um, user mode. Well, I use all of my modes, including the rain mode. And when it's pouring down rain, I expect that rain mode to work. And a lot of times what it'll do is it'll cut power. And something that's still getting me is I'm trying to figure out why. Now, we have, this bike is tuned in all modes. It's all tuned. 
So it shouldn't cut power the way it is. It's something within the ECU. That's also why I want to get the ECU unlocked so that way we can dig just a little bit further and figure out, oh, we got a break. Oh, can we do it no hands? Downshift, 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 downshift. Oh no, all these people, what are they doing? No, you fucked up the game. Oh my God, retarded four-wheeled people, Jesus. Who the fuck gave you your license? What else is there? All right, back to our regularly scheduled program. Oh no, oh, I just, I don't understand. Like, why are people getting over? You can fit through there. I swear, I promise you, it's not that wide. Or it's not that narrow. It is that wide that it's not that narrow. One of the other things that you're getting with this bike that a lot of people um, do seem to under mention. This is a race bike that you are getting. It is a full blown race bike with street fairings and every single last person will tell you that. The different amount of modes and shit that you can do within this, 100% a race bike. The weight, how balanced this bike is when you're straight up and how much control you have in a corner, this bike, it, it's scary to ride sometimes. The reason why it's scary is, is because it pushes you to be a really good rider but a lot of times, you're not in the situation where you should be doing what you're doing. If you get what I'm saying, like, it's cool when you can carve up a back road, but you're still carving up a back road. That's where I say it gets dangerous. Not for the fact that people just can't ride or that you just can't ride this bike. The very first set of tires that I had on this bike, I mean, I went through them after two months because I was just out riding this bike really hard all the time, just everywhere that I could. And in Houston, it's a little different because Houston, when you want to ride some curvy roads, you have to ride the highways because everybody that sees Houston or knows Houston or has seen a picture of Houston could tell you that it's like the city of bridges. I mean, it's just like a sea of bridges, but the banks on them allow you to get down so low. And when your tires are warm, you can stick down in it. And that's what I'm talking about that makes it so dangerous is that you, you want to do it because you know you can do it, but you know you shouldn't. I shouldn't do it. Did you hear those pops? Let's see if this car will get over. Will you get over? Please? Almost gotta go to Walmart, I guess. And that right there is the whole reason why I say that getting this bike 
all the cost that you're gonna have the tires are gonna go through the heartache with the ECU flashing and the quest to gain more power in the end for that little run that I did 100% worth it without a doubt would buy again 10 out of 10 but with that right there I hope you guys enjoyed the video I'm gonna end it if you like this video and only if you like this video please smash that thumbs up button it really helps me out and I appreciate it and please subscribe because more more shits on the way.